Hi, welcome to the SEM Technologies. Uh, for more videos on the regarding of um, SEM, especially on the modules of inventory procurement, order management, and costings, please subscribe for the SEM Technologies for more videos. Today, I want to explain for that. Today, I want to explain for that how the internal requisition process will be coming into the picture of Oracle Fusion supply chain management internal requisitions. So for these internal requisitions, the material is moving by the one inventory to another inventory by using the requisition, by using the requisitions. For that, what is the pre-requisition setups? So we have an item cost process and the item cost level, costing level, and manage interorg parameters are one, and the sourcing GOP rules for that, right? And the item level, item level, item level, the item is eligible for internal transferable. Internal transferable is yes, right. These all are the pre-requisition setups. Let's go to executing the process. I am taking for one item, yes, double zero, one double zero. This is a seeded item. So now I am going to executing for the internal transaction or internal requisition. Let's go to the, let's go to the procurement, under procurement purchase requisitions. So go to the enter requisition lines. So as for our GOP rules and as well as for the internal, uh, internal parameters, when you are entering the item. So yes, double zero, one zero, uh, I think hundred, right? Yeah, hundred. Okay. If you enter the item, as soon as, as for the internal requisition, the source organization is coming automatically. If you have a multiple source organization, please select the multiple organizations, which over here, what is the source and destination? Okay. So up to now, you must select not required. Let's cancel this. Okay. Already source organization is coming into the pictures. Right. Then go to the source. Sub inventory under source sub inventory. So we need to select for what is store sub inventory. Then we can add to this into the cart. Right. So let's go to submit this requisition. So, okay. The requisition is created successfully here. The requisition is created successfully. Okay. The first we need to, the process of this is process execution is. Process execution is like first we need to create a requisition. Create a requisition. Okay. So what is our requisition number? This one. Then let's go to here and refresh this. So once it is approved, after that, as per the interarch parameters, the internal requisition based on that. There is a transfer order is created. Transfer order is created. Let's see. So up to coming to the open status. Now it is in the open status. Okay. Let's copy this PO uh, requisition. Okay. Let's show here. Just search. So the order number, transfer order number is coming over here. Transfer order number is coming over here. Just search that. So you can find out from here itself or else you can find out from the supply orchestration. From supply orchestration, go to the supply orchestration. Under supply orchestration in the back and transfer order number is generated, right? So in the transfer order, what is the destination organization? What is the source organization? Right, you can monitoring that. Now you can see there is a two tracks are there. Let's click on that without errors. Without errors, the system is processing two lines. Okay, two lines. So what is our document number? So just see that requisition number. This is our requisition number. Right. What is our requisition number? 65. Right. So 65. Just 
uh, open this order number. So it is not started yet. Just refresh it. So here you can see supply source is Atlanta. The destination receiving organization is Seattle. As for our manage internal parameters, this transaction will be happening. Right. In between of that, we need a transit times, we need for shipping method, we need for manage internal transfers, we need for the manage shipping parameters, receiving parameters, all that are the prerequisition setups. Please uh, follow that. Now the transfer order is created. Where we can see the transfer order? From here. Okay. From here. Okay. Just refresh it again. We click on this. Now this is a transfer order number. If you want to see this, the transfer order numbers will coming over here. Now what we need to do is, let's go to the supply source level. Go to the supply source level, view the shipments and receipt lines. Click on this. Nothing will be there. You cannot perform anything. Okay, from here itself, you cannot performing anything. Just copy that. Okay, so, Transfer order generated. That's the, this is not a transfer order, one minute. Huh? Just take the transfer order number. So 138045, this is the transfer order number. Okay, copy the transfer order number. Okay, now transfer order is created. What we need to do is, let's create a pick view. Create a pick view in source org level. Okay, source org level, we need to create a pick view. Let's go to the source org. So copy this, source org is Atlanta, right? Go to the Atlanta. So go to the inventory management. So select Atlanta 002. So go to the task list, go to the shipments. Under shipments, we have a create pick view. Click on that. Okay, click on that. Create pick view. Right. So, this is for transfer order. Let's select the releasing rule. Pick confirmation, auto pick confirmation. So, this is for 002 releasing rule and selecting for transfer order. And what is the order number? This one. So customer is the August. Now release it. So as for the release rule, the auto confirmation will be happening. No need to be a confirming manually. Okay. Now you can see this successfully. Pick slip is created. Okay. Pick slip is created. Now go to the shipments. If you want to see that, right. If you want to see the... Um, um, confirmation that you can see it. Otherwise, go to the shipments and search with pick wave number. So, where is that pick wave number? Pick wave is created. You can search uh, otherwise transfer order. Order type. Okay. 
services for transfer order. Now, so where is the order type? Order type is fine. Just search equal to the initial date is today. I take today test. Okay, nothing is there. Then what you need to do is, let's go to the confirm today's. So after, what is the pick confirmation number that we need to see? Create a pick view. So from here, you can see that. So pick wave number and as well as pick confirmation number will comes over here. Now let's go to the directly here. Okay, now you can see. So what is our uh, source document? This one, right? 47, 47, right? So go to here, click on this. This is the pick slip number. This is the pick slip number. So, Pick pair number is this. Pick pair number is this. And pick slip number. Pick slip number is this. Right. And after that, And the shipment number. Shipment. So what is the shipment number? This one. Okay, copy this shipment number. Now, so up to shipment, we have we are good. Now what we need to do is just cancel this and go to the shipments, manage shipments. So paste over the main shipment uh, shipment number and search. Okay, now you can see the shipment status is open status because the shipment is not happening. From here itself, we can confirm the shipment. So the shipment will be comes from the 002 to 002 inventory organization to 002 inventory organization to Seattle, right? Now you can see the open status, okay? Then click on ship confirmation. Ship confirmation. Now the shipment got closed. Now if we, if we want to search that, shipment status is closed, right? That means the material is shipped successfully, destination organization. Go to the destination organization 001. Okay, receive the material. Receive the material. So go to the receipts. Receive expected shipments. And what is the transfer order number? Search with transfer order number. Okay. Search. Okay, now receive the material. Okay, after shipment, after shipment, receiving expected shipment in destination organization, destination org, right, destination organization. So how much quantity, just click on that receipts, show receipt to quantity. And which sub inventory level you want to uh, receive this material that you need to select. So, this is a direct delivery. You can see destination type is inventory. This is a direct delivery. Now, create a receipt. Okay, then click on receipt. So, receipt number is generated. Receipt number is generated. 
Now, you can say receipt number. This one receipt number. If you want to be moving this to the cost organization, you can run program, right? This is how the internal requisition process is executed into the application level. So what are the pre requisition setups which is required? On this procurement and inventory and costing, order management or product management related, if anyone have required for the, if see here, the order is coming over here, okay? Anyone need any training, okay? Any training is required. Now you can see the order status is closed. Require for any training or support for any your implementation or support projects. So please reach out to the SEM Technologies contact number. I'll be guiding on that. Thank you.